guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing, I'm going to be doing some top tips on F1 Mobile 2020. Not F1 Mobile Racing, that's what it's called, isn't it? So, first tip, always brake on the corners, especially as you have a, as you get a faster car. Because your car becomes faster, you have a higher downforce, and it becomes harder to flat out corners. In the start, it's kind of easy. Always go at the DRS, by the way. At the start, it's kind of easy to flat out the corners because um, you don't have a very fast car. But towards around level eight, six, eight, your car becomes a lot faster than you expect. And it will be a lot harder to get around the tracks. This is not a very, um, Silverstone is the starter track, but it's not a very, um, it's not a very, um, oh no, yeah, just like that. I went a lot, I went a lot wide. And like that, I went very, <laughs> I went very wide. And so, yeah. You definitely need to make sure that you definitely brake on the corners. But as you get onto different tracks, it becomes a lot harder for braking. Especially on the circuit of the Americas, Monza. And see there, because I didn't brake. Monza and stuff like that. Uh, I'll show some more clips of that um, at the end. Um, Oh, oh, oops. Uh, second, don't, well, this is not a tip, this is just, um, just me saying, just don't go off the track, because it slows you down, um, and that is not good, and you don't want, and it loses you time, and loses, oh my gosh, it loses you time, and it loses you, um, track position, as well, um, so make sure that you break on corners. Um, make sure you um, break on the corners and make sure you um, don't go off the track. That is not a tip, but that is a advice. Don't <laughs> don't go. I think I'm just trying to tell people how not to go off the track. To not go off the track, you need to um, post when you need to post, which is, posting is um, from my uh, knowledge, what I know, coasting is when you um, got, like, put uh, the front wheels, like a couple of wheels on the, on the curves, like that, that's coasting right there, and it, I think it's different to hitting the A. That, that's really fast coasting. Uh, it's different to hitting the apex with, like that. Uh, I think it's different to hitting the apex, but I'm not quite sure. So, tip number two. My second tip for you guys is this racing line here. If you want to get the best lap times and the best braking zones and like where to brake and stuff, you would like you want to free the three D dynamic racing line. So if you just go up to the top top of your screen here, there is a pause menu button, and th these are all my settings, and this brings me on to setting number my tip number three. Tip number three is if you are tr trying to get the best lap times and stuff, assistance profile high and steering sensitivity. Uh, I think when you start you have your steering sensitivity at minus 10, but that means you have to tilt your screen. Um, so if you have your at minus 10, if you want to go around a corner, that's like like a normal corner, you have to go like that, but and like a hairpin like that um, but when it's on plus 10 like me 
you have you tilt the screen less. So if you're going around a hairpin, more like this instead of like this, and when you're going around a corner, more like that. So yeah, um, or you can have it, and I've got mine on acceleration auto, which is so you don't have to continue pressing the screen, and also because when I'm making videos, it is less, it's less, it's less distracting with all the, like, the buttons happening on the screen, so, yeah, and I have the steering as tilted, um, so, yeah, so let's just resume right now, so my fourth and final tip is, no wait, fifth, and final tip is, well for now my fifth and final tip is contact. Don't make contact. Because it damages your car, it makes you slower, and it can, I think it can give you penalties, but it also, it just makes you slower. And you lose places and that's not good. So, you want to have so right now I've just got it in easy mode just so I can show you guys. So right right now here I'm just following the racing line here and there I should have braked. But here following the racing line as best I can. And so this gives you optimized um, downforce, optimized drag, aer aerodynamics, optimized drag resistance, opti just, uh, optimized speed, it's just better to follow the racing line than to go all over the place. So, yeah guys, thank you for watching, um, make sure you like and subscribe, um, actually, alright, so you want to break, you can go around the outside and bar rain as well. Um, this is just from my personal preference, because otherwise I go wide, um, because my car is too fast at the moment, um, I'll probably show you my R&D stuff, um, comment down below if you want to see a video about, um, comment down below if you want to see me do a video about, um, how to play F1 mobile racing in the optimized way, so, First off, break, 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 break really hard. Break. Oh no. Oh, I failed again. So yeah, uh, I'll have to try again on the next lap. This just—it's just I'm just proving to you how hard that first bit is when you don't take it properly. I've done it before in some videos, uh, but that I've accidentally deleted. I've done it before, but it—it's hard. So break right there. So that here is quite a dynamic track in my days. You, it's, if you don't know the track, it's kind of hard to tell. At first, I would always like go really wide out there and really short in there. So I would always, I'll show you on the next lap. I would always go cut really close in and go really far out. And this is the same on uh, Abu Dhabi. I'll do like that. And I would cut. So I would try and cut, because otherwise I would go all the way out, which is not good. And so I would lose positions. And oh, that's actually one of my favorite parts, where it's, it's like a hairpin, but it's not a hairpin. So it goes like round like that. So it's like almost. Exactly, it's almost a hairpin, but it's not a hairpin, basically, so yeah. Um, right now I'm just going to show you guys the, um, see, there we go, look at that. It's hard though, you should see, I'll show you next time like this, it is pretty hard. So, I'll show you guys what I used to do, so I would go all the way follow this line but and when I'd overtake I'd always go really wide which is kind of not good and always I'd go off here like that so I'd always like keep going and not turn properly so what I'd do I'd go in here like
If you sometimes think that I'm kind of like cheating or something, it's, it's not. It's just this profile full. It's, 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 it's ideal. So, yeah, guys. Um, also, you, you'll want to, um, if you want to stimulate real life. This is stimulating real life, but it's not actually real life. So right now I'm just going to show you guys Bahrain, the first corner of Bahrain. Oh wait, yeah, yeah. No, let's go here. Um, here it's it it goes like that, like like it's going to go like this, like not shikin, heaven and Monza, and then it goes like like that. So. Yeah, um... Now, um, sorry for the inconvenience, but you get the gist. Um, I lost all, the, I lost the rest of the footage, um, so, and also this is my first time, so yeah. Um, you get the gist, I'm just showing you guys some first corners and some hard parts, if you know what I mean. Um... <coughs> So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, thumbs if you no. <laughs> Smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.